το Lighthub, θα διαχειριστεί του Lighthub, αυτό που κάνουν ουσιαστικά ε, βοηθάμε ανθρώπου να αλλάξουν τον τρόπο σκέψη του, ε, βάζοντα του μέσα και κυρίω θα μπορούσαν να, πω, να καλλιεργήσουν λίγο το αίσθημα τη επιχειρηματικότητα ε, και φυσικά αυτό το growth mindset που λέγεται, στο οποίο δουλεύετε αρκετά με το NLP στο να αλλάξετε κι εσεί στάσεις, συμπεριφορές και επεπιθύσεις με τους ανθρώπους. I always say that when we talk about family businesses we are not talking about a specific sector or a specific dimension we are talking about a, a mindset, a governance set but it has to do with different dimensions and different sectors you can find family business all over in the food industry fashion, technological chemicals automotive whatever and many times uh, a son and daughter after some years say we didn't have the real possibility to do our own choice because we didn't have different uh, opportunities so the different uh, the vertical challenge has to do a lot with uh, the, the ability to understand that to not to push a second generation a third generation to follow the path but to create an environment in which that could be an opportunity but it is not an obligation on both sides there is no the obligation to uh, follow the path of your family but it is not just the obligation to leave yeah, the business to a son or a daughter that they are not um, so good at so it's a challenge for both parents and children um looking out into the world and seeing you know who's doing really amazing things and then finding something of the patterns and the inner structure and mindset of the person or people who are producing these amazing effects and results in the world and being able to then capture something that we can pass on to other people so that we all get enriched, we can all learn, we can all step into other models of how people do things really expertly. And she said, well, look around the room, you know. And um, when we've done our Passion in Action program, we've always gone, look around the room. Everyone in this room is full of the most amazing abilities. You don't have to have like the most brilliant person in the world. Sometimes you can just see, oh, that person's got a knack for doing something really special that really makes a difference to how the business or how the team is running. You're starting to really noticing miracles all around you. You know, how is this happening? How is this person so good at that? And then we have an expression in English. Um, if you could bottle that, you'd make a fortune. Uh, we're looking for what's called the patterns that connect. In other words, similarities this is a meta program sameness similarities what are the patterns that all the people who are good at this hold in common so what's the same about all the experts so if you have you know two or three people as as models or exemplars what do they have in common and then you're looking as i say for the difference that makes a difference So there'll be lots of differences, but what's the one that really allows you to do that task or run that behavior or do that, you know, perform that capability and get the results? What's the difference that makes a difference? Όμως το mindset είναι πολύ περισσότερο από τον τρόπο με τον οποίο σκεφτόμαστε, ακόμα και από την ίδια μας τη σκέψη. Το mindset θα μπορούσε να αποτελεί το DNA όπως ακριβώς αυτό μπορεί να μεγαλώνει σε έναν έμβιο οργανισμό. Το mindset λοιπόν είναι ένα τέτοιο παράδειγμα. Ο τρόπος με τον οποίο έχουμε ανατραφεί σε συνδυασμό με αυτό το οποίο φέρει το DNA μας από τη γλώσσα μας, την κουλτούρα μας, την σωματοδομή μας, τον τρόπο με τον οποίο είναι δομημένος, καλωδιωμένος ο εγκέφαλό μας, τον τρόπο με τον οποίο έχουμε ανταποκριθεί σε εξωτερικές συνθήκες και πώς αυτές οι συνθήκες έχουν επιτρέψει εσωτερικά σε μηχανισμούς να χτιστούν ή να παγιωθούν, είναι μια πάρα πολύ σύνθετη προσέγγιση. And that's just like standing at a bus stop, looking down the road at the people you want to convince at their bus stop down the road and thinking, what are you doing down there? You should be over here. Now imagine instead, if you knew a way 
to go to the other people's bus stop. And from their bus stop, their psychological, their motivational bus stop, from their bus stop, if you could invite them on the bus and they wanted to get on the bus, because you can't force anyone to get on the bus, that you invited them on the bus to bring them somewhere useful for them and somewhere useful for you. And that is the basis of all of my work. How do we understand my bus stop and the bus stop of the other people? The language and behavior profile, when you know someone's key patterns, it's like you know which door is more likely to be open. Um, most people don't realize that when people are making a purchasing decision, their values, their criteria is at the heart of it. So if you are working with customers, if you have insurance customers, if you have, as a director of service in the public service, if you have people um, that are working with you that face the public, it's really important to have that kind of rapport and credibility, is that you understand what's important to them and you demonstrate it back. And as coaches and as trainers, if you don't know what's important to your people when they come in, it's useful to have a mechanism to find out.